In this video, I'm going to be setting up skating a board from hockey, and it is the Kevin Rodriguez 8.18 wide and 31.73 long. And for those of you who don't know, hockey is the sub brand to FA. FA and hockey are two of the most popular brands in skateboarding, with uh, team rosters including many great skaters such as Nikhil Smith, Kevin Bradley, Gino Iannucci. Tyshawn Jones, Aidan Mackey, Louis Lopez. To name a few of the FA riders, hockey's roster includes Donovan Piscopo, Ben Cadeau, Kevin Rodriguez, Andrew Allen and others. I decided to get myself a hockey board to see if the brand has more to offer in terms of substance than just an impressive list of pro riders. And the very first thing I notice is the shape of the nose. It's a lot fuller than most boards. They tend to be a lot more tapered on the nose than this tail looks pretty uh, more blunt than the usual tapered tail that I'm used to I guess so I would say more of a fuller nose and tail that is first impressions and let's get on with the setup so first things first we have to grip this bad boy trying out a new grip tape well it's new to me anyway and it's Jessup Ultra Grip usually ride mob careful not to get air bubbles because it doesn't look like it's perforated but I could be wrong anyway let's get the plastic off this board That's that off. It's actually quite a matte finish. It's a dipped board, I would say, as you can see, the sides are painted. I don't usually like dip boards. I feel like they're trying to hide something when they do that. Maybe that's just my suspicious mind. Gripping a board, there's nothing to it. Take the backing off, obviously. No. The backing paper's torn. Right, so it's time to get the hardware on there. So we'll be using Ace Trucks. These are the AF ones, they're not brand new. I've been riding these for, um, oh God, I can't remember. New hardware, some sushi bolts, but there's nothing wrong with my old hardware, so I might just use that. Got some new wheels from Croupier. I believe is how it's pronounced, Croupier. Like the guys at the casinos. And they are 51 millimeter. Uh, apparently flat spot resistant wheel so we'll see how that goes I decided to treat myself new bearings I've got the Bronson Roars Bronson Roars are shieldless bearings that come free from any kinds of uh, lubricant so they're dry and shieldless I've been riding um, Bone Swiss and um, they are really good however my set are in serious need of a clean. Right, let's get these bearings in this wheel. And these ASAF ones have the uh, re threaders, so I know that my camera is not picking that up. There are little teeth on the inside of the axle nut which help re thread the axle each time you take your nut on and off. Like a little bit of a rattle, not too much. Spacer.
One thing I like to do is take my knife and just run it around the inside of the truck bolt holes and just take off some of that excess material. And like I said, I'm just going to use my old hardware. Start with two bolts. This is my tail. This is my back truck. Tighten them up gently, not all the way. Just get those two bolts snugged in and snug in the other two bolts corner to corner. And when they're all snugged in, let's tighten them down. Pretty sick. The board looks fresh. Only one thing left to do.
the battle is real, man. Well, it's been a few years since I felt confident enough to even attempt a nose blunt slide. And although this isn't a trick tip tutorial, uh, my key to unlocking the nose blunt slide is to not think of it as a nose blunt slide, but rather think of it as a nose slide on the inside of the ledge. And it helps if you have the right obstacle for this trick. And I was lucky enough to find these benches stored in uh, the marquee that is currently situated on my local skate spot. Um, but anyway, back to the hockey setup. And my thoughts are, I really like it. Obviously, I can't give you guys a full review after just one session, but so far, so good. That big shovel nose definitely helped me to figure out the nose blunt slide. And so far, no flat spots on the croupier wheels after all those nose blunt slide attempts. The Bronson Raw bearings are smooth and fast and they sound awesome. Pleasantly surprised by how good the Jessup Ultra Grip felt. It felt super grippy, yet responded well uh, to flip tricks. I think I got all my flip tricks first try. Well, I did many flip tricks in this session, a couple of kick flips. And I'll try to do a more in-depth review on all these products in time. So if you're not already subscribed, please help me to grow my channel by doing so. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.